Here are examples of zipper feet that are available as options for your sewing machine. Here we have the left zipper feet, so if you were to replace the outer foot on the machine, the walking foot, by loosening this screw, you could put, in this case, this foot on the machine, and it would only give you a toe to the left side of the center foot. So this foot, over, this toe over here on the right, would be gone. Okay. Alternatively, you could go to a right zipper foot right here. This one, when it's installed on the machine, this particular toe is removed, and the only toe that would still exist on the walking foot is the one on the right side of the center foot. Now, the reason that you would want to do this would be so that you could get closer to a hard object like a zipper tooth. And we're going to show you how that works now by taking this machine and we're going to switch to the left zipper foot and then show you stitching on the sample. We'll now remove the outer foot and replace it with the roping zipper foot left. When you put the new zipper foot on, make sure that you push it all the way to the top of the slot and then make sure that you get the set screw nice and tight. So we have our left zipper foot on and this is the original foot that's been removed and you can see that essentially the left zipper foot is just this part omitting the part that I'm covering with my thumbs. Now let's go ahead and just sew on this piece of material exactly the way we had before so you can see how much closer we can get. Since I'm sewing on the left side of the tooth, I'm going to move my needle bar frame to the right this time. And now we will trap our threads and begin the stitch. And right away, you can see how much closer to the zipper tooth we're able to get. So if you had a household zipper that hadn't, didn't have nearly as much fabric on the outside edge of the tooth, you might need a zipper foot to get that close. Another reason that you might want to have a zipper foot, and in this case a left zipper foot on the sewing machine, is so that you can sew the stitch right at the neck of a bolt rope, you can see that from the end there's a rope running through the sleeve, on the edge of a sail. Uh, so you would typically find a bolt rope like this on the left or the foot edge of a mainsail, and you do need to get that rope pinched all the way forward in the sleeve in order to allow appropriate space for the insertion of grommets for slug attachment, for instance. So this, obviously having this foot, is going to allow you, and this has already been stitched, but we're going to do it again so you can see it, to drop the foot down and get the stitch right in at the neck of the bolt rope. Now if you're not happy with how close that stitch is to the rope and you want to make it even tighter, you could do that by buying another center foot to the sewing machine and simply grinding down the outer surface of the foot here on the right side in order to reduce the amount of metal to the right of the needle. Sometimes this is a popular thing to do depending upon what project you're working on. Um, I think that in this particular case the standard foot gets you plenty close to a bolt rope, but some people really like to have them tight and if that's your preference, buy another foot, grind and polish this edge and that will get you quite a bit closer to the to the neck of the rope. Thanks for watching this short video. If you have any questions, be sure to give Sayorite a call.